so when you put your bond web on the back of your pieces of fabric, what you can do is then peel it off and then iron into place. Can you iron that into place, please? Then you need to set up your machine so it's set up on a zigzag stitch. So you press number two, that puts it on a zigzag stitch. You then need to move your stitch um, length down so can you see when I move these buttons it moves this bit down up and down so actually what you want to do is to move that down until it's in the same place as those little dots there those dashes that means it's a buttonhole stitch but what we want is a really small stitch so with the zigzag here this can make it wider and smaller so that means it jumps like this whereas this one is how far it moves forward so if your zigzags closer together you'll get more of a solid line then you can start sewing. So I'm just going to check this bob in a second because I don't know why that thread's not come up. So zigzag stitch, and you want a thin stitch or a small stitch length. It's going to make my video not so good, isn't it? Right, that's better. So. Then put your fabric under and what you want is so that you can see half of where you're stitching, like your applique piece of fabric, and half of your base fabric in the little hole on the foot there. Then you can just start stitching. So. I'm going to do it quite fast but you can go much slower. When you get to a point where you want to turn, so I'm at a corner now and I need to turn, what I do is I put my needle in the fabric, so I always turn this wheel towards me, then I pick up my presser foot and I turn round, so then it keeps my fabric in the same position. And I carry on. Now, what I've got on this design, because it's an arrow, I've got some points and I'll show you what happens. Um, because I don't really want my points to be um, so sort of blocky. I actually want them to go narrow into a point. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm actually going to slowly take the stitch whip down as I'm sewing. So I'm pressing that button as I'm sewing. And what's happening is my stitch whip is getting smaller. Then when I come up the other side of the arrow point, the arrow head, what I can do is slowly make it bigger. Okay, so again I'm at a corner, so I want to put my needle in by turning the wheel towards me, lift up, turn round, and carry on. Again, another corner, lift up, turn round, carry on. When you get to the end of your stitching, you want to do a little bit of zigzag, uh, reverse, sorry. So a little tiny bit of reverse, I'm going to stop here and then carry on. I'll show you now. So if you can see where I've done the change in the stitch width, can you see it goes into a point? Whereas when I don't do it, it stays quite blocky. Okay, the end.